So you might recognize this, the song Ugly by hip-hop hitmaker Bubba Sparks. While the genre has had its roots firmly planted in black and brown communities, some white artists like Sparks have left their mark, raising the question how to create but not appropriate. And as we celebrate 50 years of hip-hop, we take a look inside the world of so-called white rap. Here's ABC's Mona kosar Abdi. These days, I'm stuck. I look pretty good, but... Can I get this extra large right here? Bubba Sparks keeps a low profile in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. You know why I like this, though? Because you can wear that with pretty much anything. I ain't choose the rhyme. Rhyming chose me. Quite removed from the early 2000s when he shot to mainstream fame after his debut rap single, Ugly, perplexed the masses. His rural southern drawl mixing hip-hop with bluegrass and country. Do you think it was easier for you because you're white? In some ways, in some ways more difficult. This is the way I always say it. As a white boy, there's certain doors that being white that you'll automatically get in that perhaps no black person or, or other race could ever get in. But there's also certain doors as a white boy that you can never get in, no matter what. Like, it's just, you know, certain people are just never gonna check for a white rapper, period. Hip-hop is and has been a cultural movement. Born in New York out of black and brown communities, it's a lifestyle centered in art, politics, and most of all, music. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. But as the genre spread in the late 80s and hip-hop entered its golden era, a punk band of three middle-class teenagers would drop the first hip-hop album to reach number one on the charts. You gotta fight! The, the Beastie Boys were a really interesting thing because we were very urban. It was very black. They were Lower East Side, New York, born and bred, but punk kids who liked hip hop, right? And there is a sonic relationship between punk and hip hop. And for a lot of people, the Beastie Boys are a gateway drug. They brought a lot of white fans in who love the Beasties and then become genuine fans of other artists. Well, since he's 12, Fast forward to the rise of Eminem, who dominated the charts, eventually becoming the best-selling rapper of all time, with a litany of platinum-selling albums, accolades, and a committed fan base. His lyrical prowess and his MC skills garnered him respect and acceptance in hip-hop. Yet many point out that it is impossible to separate the Detroit-born rapper's immense fame and accomplishments from his race. There's no doubt that him being white contributed largely to his success. It was a big, it was a factor. But dude's also beyond incredible. There's a privilege that I'm very aware of, you know, as a white man in America, period. You know, at the end of the day, doing things with true intention and for the right reasons, with integrity, you know, is the place I come from. Oakland native G-Eazy was just 13 when he began writing his first rhymes, coming to age at the height of the Bay Area's hyphy movement. His style earned him collaborations with some of pop music's biggest stars. But I need you and I can take you all the way and I'm able. I mean, hip hop is pop culture. It's the driving force of popular music, period. You know, like, from country to pop, it's like hip hop infused. I was a white person in hip hop now. Like, it's, I, I get to contribute to a culture that I grew up in and that I have a great love and respect for. And I'm very appreciative and grateful for like all that I've gotten to, you know, do in this space. Got to love it. Everybody deserves a seat at the table. I'd love to see it. And our many thanks to Mona for that report. g Easy, by the way, says he always pays homage to his local roots. He's had Bay Area great E-40 on every album that he's put out. And that's a big one. Yeah. And Bubba Sparks told us he grew up in an area that was 50% white, 50% black, and totally country. So he's keeping his music close to his roots as well. Do you think? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.